Welcome. Previously, you saw our first two weeks of quarantine. In this episode, we continue our lockdown here in Cadiz, but we have one very good news. From now, we're allowed to go walking, running, or riding a bicycle in precise hours. So we managed to take you on a fast tour of the beautiful Cadiz. This is another week of quarantine over here in Cadiz uh, and today we're gonna start with a little bit of uh, stretching or you can call it mobility just to uh, be good in our bodies for this day of work because we are gonna do bow jobs and today we have to take care of the dinghy, clean it, protect it, put it away and we'll see at the end of the day uh, if we have time to do other things. So. Uh, Marvin and Tara uh, will join me soon. They went uh, to the office to ask if we can have a Wi-Fi because for now we don't have it and it's uh, starting to be a little bit difficult with uploading all the videos that we have. So we're gonna know in a few seconds if we uh, are gonna have or not the Wi-Fi of the harbor since it's closed but maybe they have a, a solution for us and then we're gonna stretch all together. If you're wondering this, this is the pigeon pose. It is really good for the hips. I really love doing it. I'm gonna do two minutes each side. It's the first day in Spain since uh, the beginning of the lockdown, of the quarantine. People live in Spain can go outside the, their home so I can go outside of the boat with my children, with Tara, to walk around the boat. So just, we have one kilometer uh, maximum distance for that. You can see the, the gate of the airport of Puerto America. We cross the gate with Tara for the first time of the lockdown. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Tara is free. T'entends Tara oui. Tu entends oui. We are going back to the boat. Uh, we're gonna eat. This is a mess. This is a total mess because I was uh, playing with Tara all morning. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. And now let's prepare something to eat. Today we're gonna start with a salad. I did the quinoa and rice this morning. I think we have some spinach, some fresh spinach. So we're gonna put everything together and make a nice salad. What can we put inside? Lemon with some olive oil here. Is it Tara is hungry. Then avocado. Avocado, avocado. We're gonna show you Tara's ball. You open the avocado. Ooh. And here it is. Yes! Does she love it too? I did a better move on. Okay, so let's do this. Spinach, rice and quinoa. Pumpkin seeds, very very good. Tomato and I think tuna, today's tuna salad. We're gonna put just a, a hint of garlic because this is a, a natural antibiotic. <laughs> and uh, we need it at this moment. And. Um, that's all. Go. Tidy up the mess. Cala, I don't want cala for the onion. A little bit of lemon. You do a good, a good meal for the camera. Yeah. Because is that each day the same intention? Wait, 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 wait! I have something for you. I wanted to show you the good for the camera, <laughs> but it's almost the same. The good for the camera and the other one for Marvin. No, it's almost the same. 
One for the camera. One for the boss. Tu veux manger le plat de papa? Allez. Here you can see the monument of Cortes, which was held in 1810 and was the first national assembly to claim sovereignty in Spain. Tara fell asleep, so now we're gonna show you our technique to put the stroller on the boat. Remember the front squat and the clean. Yes! Clean front squat. And free. So Tara is sleeping over there and we're gonna clean the auxiliary. It stayed in the water only a few days, maybe two weeks. It's already completely green. So we pulled it out, we're gonna clean it and then we're gonna protect it with something. Small speak, one check, rip it. <laughs> Small speak, one check, rip it from Czech Republic. <laughs> Vas-y, vas-y, Bobby Spielberg. Quoi Spielberg Je te filme. Mais Spielberg, il filme pas comme ça déjà. On a quand même le, le plus mauvais équipement du monde en entretien de bateau. Bobby ouais. Non mais c'est vrai. Hein. Il, faut un... il, faut, il faut vous dire que ça, c'est ma brosse pour faire la vaisselle. Mais quand on a rien d'autre, on a un peu obligé de me rendre But it works. Oui, mais la M moins, mais la va. I'm dancing while cleaning the boat, and our neighbors from this morning is the Guardia Civil, so uh, I should stop. show you why is the deadlift useful so we'll see that in a lot On essaye de, de filmer quand il fait beau, surtout depuis que qu'on n'a plus la protection, enfin on n'a plus le micro qui peut avoir un son de qualité quand il y a du vent. Et, euh, et on sort quand il fait beau, mais la réalité c'est que c'est souvent comme ça ici. Okay, uh, Danny, uh, show uh, something fly. Uh, no. Danny told me I saw something fly because there's a lot of wind and my wind is gonna save it. Yes. Ah, but maybe, maybe it was an illusion. Dun, 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 dun. Not ah, it's fait froid. Wow, it's cold, cold weather. Uh, we are not ready for this. We don't prepare the, the bad weather. It's very cold. It's not, a, oh, it's not good. Check. Je suis gelé. Les poissons tranquilles. Il uh, y 
y a un truc là-bas, mais c'est je pense une bouteille en plastique. Franchement, le masque de ski est génial, nickel. Luckily, the end of this cold windy day was much more beautiful than expected and we could enjoy the magnificent rainbow that appeared after the rain. Today, we will finish with a simple yoga flow to practice gratefulness and staying in the present moment. We need that tremendously in these hard times. Do you hear this song? It's the song of freedom. We are free. <laughs> No, we are in depression, so just listen. So, no, we just um, put on the motor because uh, we don't uh, use it uh, for one month now. And uh, we just check and to, 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 to maintain the, the good uh, Else, it's an anti cheer. They have a name Volvo. <laughs> Look, my beautiful motor. It turns bien. Ça va, ça va, it turns bien. Je vais mettre un peu de marche avant pour faire tourner le truc parce que l'hélice est une hélice qui se rétracte quand on, on navigue il faut qu'elle puisse s'ouvrir on a un voisin qui a la même hélice là bas juste là là on le, le voit là et il a la même hélice que nous et il n'a pas bien entretenu il nous a raconté que là avant d'arriver ici il s'est mis sur les rochers parce qu'au moment de il y a eu un coup de pétole enfin plus de vent et au moment de remettre le moteur ben, il n'y avait plus d'hélice l'hélice elle était restée repliée et elle se repliait plus il n'y avait pas de vent pour se tirer de là, il n'y avait pas de moteur. Donc euh, ça l'a amené sur les rochers. Et il s'est échoué. Bon, il s'en est bien sorti apparemment, il a juste perdu du mouillage, mais voilà. Donc du coup, je l'entretiens. Marche avant. Voilà. Point mort. J'attends que l'hélice, l'air de l'hélice soit cassé. Et là, je vais mettre un coup de marche arrière. Comme ça, l'hélice, elle se replie, elle se déplie. Elle travaille dans les deux sens. Voilà. Je vérifie la pression d'huile. Ça va, on est bien, température, hein, d'huile, on tourne et on est nickel, il va bien le moteur. Et maintenant, je vais, euh, je vais l'éteindre. Alors, je vais laisser un peu euh, le contact mis. Parce que là, on entend, dessous, là, ici. Non, mais là, dessous, il y a l'évacuation de l'air. Il y a tout un système d'aération. L'air est prise là, ici. Il y a des tuyaux, hop, des ventilateurs qui aspirent l'air à l'intérieur. Ce qui fait que l'air dans le moteur, il est renouvelé. Ça, ça me permet aussi de limiter les, les odeurs de moteur après qu'il est tourné. Et voilà, on est, on est pas mal. Hein. Merde Oh putain, le bateau, il est mort Oh merde, je vais, euh, vais aller m'occuper du bateau des voisins. Ça garde à, à, à lâcher. Il y a trop de vent. Oh non. Oh non. 
Sauvetage de bateau limé. J'irai voir les dégâts après, je vais essayer de le faire vite. Comment on va faire ça Marvin managed to attach the boat and this day of quarantine ended in sweet sunset. It's been almost two months now and normal life seems to be restarting. Will we be able to continue our sailing adventures soon? Take you to new landscapes? You will discover soon enough. Until then, take care and if you want to support the production of the videos, please do visit our Patreon page. See you next week.